kidding me? Angels Envy. Rogers bourbons. I even got one on called the Duke. He's got a picture of John Wayne on it. <laughs> Thank you for my opportunity. My father says, at least the devil turned out to be American. <laughs> one law that your creator spelled out for you so clear is the atonement for your sins. It needs to be done literally daily. You fucking sin nonstop. You're a walking sin every breath out of your mouth. It's sort of like, you know, I'm protesting shit outwardly to the world for the benefit of all. I wake everybody up around me. I'm, I'm not holding back at all. I mean, I'll literally do the craziest shit that goes beyond people's comprehension. Like, how do you get away with this shit? How, how is this possible that you could say the type of shit you do? It's because I've already atoned for my sins. I do it like literally when I wake up before I, I step in the shower. I've already atoned for my filthy sins, you know? It's just blood sacrifices like it's woven into me. It's like the blood just oozes from me, literally. And, um, you know, I can see it. Your creator has a basic law. You need to atone for your sins. And whether you see your sins or not, and if you think you didn't sin today, well, then put up blood for somebody else's sin today. Yeah? If you think you were so sinless today, then make a sacrifice for someone else's soul. You know? This is funny. For the life of the flesh is in the blood to make an atonement for your filthy soul. Animal sacrifices are insufficient. If you think your creator's going to sacrifice his only begotten son for your filthiness, it's kind of funny. What? What? What kind of precedent does that set? For all of you to go out now and kill your own children? Because your creator did it? And that's your creator's law? Yeah, he's going to sacrifice his only begotten son. Never mind the mother that birthed that son. And her, you know, did she agree to this? You know? God the Father, Jesus the Son. Where the fuck is the mother in all this? Where's the nurturing? The caring? Listen, all I see is painfully sick motherfuckers out there. You know, they rub a lot of shit in your face on South Park. The stick of truth. You see, he's a zombie. And you see here, he plays Hitler, but he also plays Jesus. He was put on the cross. His mother got herself pregnant. He's the Immaculate Conception. And uh, you see, he's holding his hand up, pointing to the Holy Grail. He's showing you the other side of the flat earth plane. It's one side of a light hole, a black hole with green astral jet shooting out. So... He plays these two characters for a reason. They're showing you the flat earth plane. It's like Superman trapped in the mirror. It's the land of the dead. That's what you. That's where you are right now in the land of the dead. You need to get to the center of the flat earth plane and drink from the living waters before you're dead. And uh, come back here, bring forth heaven on earth, and then pass into the everyone enter her eye zone so that you could pass back and forth through the Garden of Eden, and this side, hell, that's Helios above your head. You know, hello, how's your hell? Everybody you know is so filthy, retarded, and necrophiliac sick, it goes beyond measure. I remind you often that the gig is up, it's game over. I can see what the fuck is up. It doesn't matter what religion you think you are, you go into a court, you're made to fucking swear in a Bible. And we know a swear is like a curse word. And another thing is, it doesn't matter what religion you are. It's the law of the land. It, it's the law. That's why you're made to swear in a Bible. To tell the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. So help you, God. And in that Bible it says that Satan, the prince of darkness, owns this fucking world. And I'm telling you that I've made royal proclamations with gallons of my motherfucking blood. Standing on the fucking holy fucking spear. I know where the holy grail is. And nobody will fucking deny me my right to everlasting life. There's a book of life with 144,000 names. It's fucking clear, people. You went to school to learn your book of the dead. You swear in a freaking Bible. You will not escape this shit. I'm standing on gallons of fucking blood and all the freaking knowledge. Everybody's pitiful and retarded. It goes beyond measure. So, when I remind you often, this fucking world is mine. I don't see how people can stop me when they're all filthy retarded. If I don't give them the truth and show them what's up, they will never get it. And, you know, it's spring break. All the children are here. And for the last 30 minutes, 
I've turned, you know, my my child's friends into geniuses. I mean, I, it's in, it's impossible, but you could do it in 30 minutes. I've done it with lots of the children that my son hangs out with. And what I'm telling you is we're getting out of your life. I'm going to wake up this fucking world. Nobody can fucking stop me. You swear in a freaking Bible. Doesn't matter what religion, they're going to drag you into court and you're going to make to swear in that freaking Bible. Okay? Whether you like it or not. And uh, it's the law of the land. My fucking world. You see here the Prince of Darkness speaks. And you see I put up gallons of fucking blood for this post, people. And what I'm telling you is that this fucking world is mine. And you better place your blood beside my own. I can see what the fuck is up. And I know where the fucking Holy Grail is. I'm going there in a couple of years. And if you want to go there with me, you're going to place your blood beside my own. You're going to type into your computer, blood over intent. You're going to scroll down see all your brethren spilling up their blood. And when you see people talking shit, I hold the fucking spear of destiny. I see everything. Everybody out there is retarded. You want to be... Come in with me if you want to live. Make no mistake about it. I put up gallons of fucking blood. I have the Holy Spirit. I see everything. So when I say this world is mine, it's true. Everybody's fucking retarded. And uh, you want to come with me if you want to live. It's just that simple. You don't have to like it. I put up gallons of fucking blood for this post. You can talk all the shit you want. You're lost at sea and officially dead. And this fucking world is mine. You don't have to like it. If I don't make videos pointing at the Holy Grail, you will surely fucking die. That's Helios above your head, people. You say hell. Oh, how's your health? You're so filthy, retarded, and necrophiliac sick. It goes beyond measure. By legal definition, you're a monster. You're filthy, fucking necrophiliac sick until your blood is published beside my own. You're lost at sea. You're not going to print off the documents. That Kate of Gaia has prepared for you. You're not going to put your bloody thumbprints on them and mail them off to the Pope. No, because you're a filthy fucking retard. You better place your blood beside my own. It's clear who holds the Spear of Destiny. And it's clear who is the Prince of Darkness. If I don't make videos, you will surely fucking die. And everybody you love will surely fucking die. You will never make it to the center of the Flat Earth Plane. Because you're so filthy retarded. You see nothing of truth. So, I recommend you place your blood beside my own. It doesn't matter what name you call me. If I don't make videos, you're fucking dead. You see this Jumanji. You see the green astral jet coming out of the black hole sun at the center of the flat earth plane. There is no way to fuck this up. It's sort of like Christmas. You open up your present day, your box of horrors. And every compass is pointing to the Holy Grail at the center of the flat earth plane. You bow your head in prayer to that black sun. You close your eyes, you make a wish to that black sun. You throw a coin in the wishing well for that black sun. I'm telling you, you need to get to the center of the flat earth plane where every compass points you before you're dead. I'm going there in a couple of years. If you want to go there with me, type into your YouTube search engine, Blood Over Intent. Scroll down, you'll see all of us spilling up our blood to bring forth heaven on earth. And unless your blood's be beside my own, you can't come with me. I'm not taking no fucking retards with me. So you're birthed into this world through your mother. And through the blood, sweat, and tears of your labors, you will build that home, you will build that farm, you will build whatever it is in this world off your blood, sweat, and tears. Okay? Now, that blood, sweat, and tears is real. That's how shit is built, on blood, sweat, and tears. So, when I donated blood my entire life, and uh, they kept mailing me those certificates, and I was ready to throw them away, but instead I used those blood bank note certificates and published a video under the Prince of Darkness and that I'm going to bring forth heaven on earth and release everybody from bondage. And then I was given the Holy Spear when I published that video. It's clear who holds the Spear of Destiny. If I don't make videos pointing at the Holy Grail every day of my life, you will surely fucking die. So what I'm saying is that when you say to somebody, you don't have a leg to stand on. I'm standing on 
a stack of blood bank note certificates and the Holy Spear. Okay, it's not about how much money you have. You know, you're birthed into this world. You built everything on blood, sweat, and tears. So you might say, you don't have a leg to stand on. I'm standing on gallons of motherfucking blood. If you try to do like some magic to try and get the Holy Spirit, you would end up killing yourself in the process because you would have had to have donated your whole life, then taken all those things mailed to your home, and then just let them stack there, and then bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all under the Prince of Darkness speaks that you intend to release everybody from bondage. That's how I got the Holy Spirit. It's all documented. There's no way to fuck it up. Until your blood is published beside my own, you're legally dead. You don't have a leg to stand on. You're lost at sea. You're a filthy necrophiliac monster with no legs to stand on. And this fucking world is mine. I got gallons of motherfucking blood that I'm standing on. And the fucking Holy Spirit. We're going to get to this Holy Grail. No soul left behind. Nobody can stop us. I have the fucking Holy Spirit. Make no mistake about it.